can't talk about EMS without talking about safety. We're one of the uh, greatest assaultive professions out there. Uh, we are constantly going into unknown and unstable scenes. We're going into patients' houses. Um, so it's just kind of a, it can be a bit of a dangerous job. We just have to make sure we know how to do it, do it safely. Now, ultimately, you are responsible for your safety. Mm -hmm. So that means things like you should be wearing your seatbelts uh, in the ambulance, both front and back. I know sometimes we have to get up to take care of the patient, but you should try to do your best to do all you can on scene and then wear them uh, in the back whenever you are, are moving. Um, when you're working around scenes of wrecks, you should be wearing your, your reflective gear. We should always have some sort of identification on you so people know that who you are and what you do and that you're EMS and maybe not police or fire or hazmat or one of the other organizations. And if you're working with some of those other organizations, make sure you listen to them because they're the experts and they can, uh, they can provide ways for us to do things maybe a little bit safer than we can think of on our own with just our knowledge. So if we're working with teams on a scene and there might be some hazards, they might be able to handle it better than, than we can. So listen to what they're, they're telling you to do. So ultimately you're responsible for your own safety. Always be looking around, always be aware of what's happening around you and be as safe as you can. There is no such thing as a safe scene. All scenes are unsafe. You just have to look at the scene and determine how great a risk it is. So you may have something like going upstairs, which is a risk, you could trip and fall. So I can't say that it's safe. And I think that's one of the things we do wrong with our patient assessment scenarios is you walk in and say, I've got PPE, is the scene safe? And we say yes, and then you never think about it. And that's totally wrong. Scenes are very dynamic, they're always changing. Safety should always be a concern and always something that you're thinking about. Now, in addition to your own safety, you should be watching out for your partner. So keep an eye out for them too. And if you see them about to do something that's unsafe, you need to stop them, warn them, and then figure out how to do it safely. We should also be watching out for bystanders that are in the area. So if somebody else is um, like stopping to help at a wreck, parks your car in a bad spot, you need to let them know to move. Um, or if you see down power lines, you need to keep people back. On hazmat situations, it's really important that we set up a perimeter to keep people back and away from, from the area so we don't have more patients get involved. And then ultimately, you're also responsible for the safety of the patient. So when we're working around the patient, what we're doing for the patient, we always want to do things as safe as we can. And that can involve things like uh, positioning the patient properly, also lifting and moving the patient, making sure you have enough help that you can do that safely. Um, and the scenes of extrication, when you're in the car with the patient, they're going to be cutting them out. Make sure you cover the patient up, warn them about loud noises. Um, if you can, some sort of face or hearing protection would be good for both you and the patient. Um, and just let them know that, that there's going to be some chaos around them until uh, until we get them out and it could be a little loud it can be a little scary so ultimately your safety is first then think about your partner then think about the bystanders that aren't hurt yet and then think about the patient or responsible for all of their safeties um, if you get hurt that means that you're out of service, your ambulance is out of service. Now we have to send a second ambulance to take care of you and a third ambulance to take care of the original patient. So by you getting hurt or injured on a scene, we made the problem three times worse. So make sure you stay safe.